upon completing my school career, I've always had the idea of wanting to pursue the career of a, of a chartered accountant. So when I left school, it was always about studying. It was during my time at Stellenbosch University where I got exposed to more rugby and got the opportunity to move through the ranks. And that's when I decided at a later stage to become a professional rugby player. Uh, I made my professional debut at a late age of 25. So I was up in Johannesburg then. And by that stage, I was already doing my articles at Deloitte in Joburg. So I balanced my studies, um, article career and rugby for about four and a half years. So at one stage up at the lines there was a bit of a pool. I decided to go the rugby way and for a short period of time I just did rugby. But soon after making this decision I decided to return to my articles to rather complete them as soon as possible. I heard he was back in Cape Town looking to maybe play some rugby. You know, I hadn't played for about a year or two, been focused on his articles, so Chris and I came to a sort of private arrangement that he'd stop playing, we balanced his studies, I'd excuse him when he needed to work, he could come in part-time. And he came and just did really well. But you know, what he brought to the team in terms of leadership and just intelligence and emotional intelligence was worth the price of that. He was playing because he really wanted to, you know, it wasn't his work, it wasn't his source of income. So those guys are always the best because they're so passionate. Anybody does the things with the passion, it doesn't feel like a job. I think for me, being in the office is, you know, one thing I miss immediately is being outside in the open air. I think on the rugby field, um, there's not too much that I miss. Maybe a bit of organisation and some, some good communication skills. I'll <laughs> leave, it, leave it at that. So I mean it's, it's pretty simple, you know, your, your life career is, is short-lived and unexpected. You don't know when it's going to end. So life after rugby I think can be quite a daunting task. And I think the more you can do actively while you're playing, the better. So I think, you know, looking forward, the guys just need to prepare themselves for life after rugby and, and what awaits them. Mm -hmm.